everybody in here. I got a sick baby chick this morning. This is one of the barred rocks. I think, I don't know if it's a rooster or not. I got up a little bit later today and it was raining so I didn't let the chicks out as early as I normally do. I mean, we're talking maybe an hour and a half later. And so I let them out. There was a little break in the rain. And I noticed that Miss Pris only had six of her baby chicks with her. And this one was still back in the brooder box, just kind of laying down, lethargic. Um, I've been given a homemade electrolyte solution, and it's just not really wanting to take anything at all. So I've set up the brooder box inside again, um, over here. And uh, I've got the mat on the bottom, and then I put the little box over the top of it. And then about every 10 minutes, I've been... Um, giving it the solution but this one is just not perking up I've been doing this for about an hour um, so I don't know what's gonna happen with this baby chick so I'm just gonna keep trying to give it the electrolyte solution and see if it perks up and trying to keep it warm oh there's no injury that I can tell. Um, nothing wrong, seems wrong with the, the legs or the wings. Um, its vent is open. He, he or she's got its little eyes closed right now, but um, when they're open they're not swollen or anything. Um, I have no idea, so not a good thing to wake up to. I feel bad for letting him out later. I don't know if it got stepped on or or what, but it just wasn't moving. All right, I'll come back. The others look okay, but no, I just regret letting them out free ranging in this kind of weather. I mean, Miss Pris will take them back in if it gets too too wet or whatever, but I'm just really worried about them all now. I don't know. It looks like there's something wrong with all of these. They are just acting kind of lethargic. Um, it's not super cold out here. It's at least 70. But most of them are acting like they just don't really even want to hunt and peck around. Oh gosh, just stay close to your mom, okay? I wish they would all just go back into the yard. I think that's Maybe what I'm going to try and get them to do. Go on, babies. Go with Mama. <sighs> Miss Pris, what's going on with these babies? Come on, baby. Let's go. What is this chicken doing back here? Are you trying to lay an egg or are you sick too? Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> this is a stressful day. I have no idea. I'm just going to let her be and maybe she'll lay an egg for me back there. <sighs> Super stressful morning for me. Um, the baby chick is still inside and it's not perking up at all. I did get Miss Pris to go into the little cage in the yard. So she's in there with the baby chicks right now. Um, I did take that one black hen with the black comb and put that put her in the file cabinet because I don't want her to get used to laying eggs up in that little brooder box because I'm thinking that may have been what happened. Maybe she tried to get back in there and Miss Pris tried to attack her and get her away and maybe a uh, baby chicken got trampled on or something. Um, because there was no problems with any of these chickens yesterday. So um, I'm thinking that that may have been what had happened. So I took the hen out, put her in the file cabinet. I don't know if she's sick or if she's just trying to lay an egg. Um, I don't even know how old they are. 16, 17 weeks, something like that. Um, so it's just a waiting game. But I, I honestly don't think that this little baby chick... <sighs> I keep offering it the electrolyte solution 
you know, about every 10 minutes or so. And actually this time what I've been doing is just putting it in a little mason jar lid that's all one piece. And I put it right up next to its beak and it dips, it can't even hold its head up. So it dips its beak down and then I, I move the beak out and um, I can feel it taking some sips. So it's getting some electrolyte solution, but um, I don't know. I just think that there, there might be some traumatic injury there. So um, <laughs> it's just a waiting game. And, and Romeo, he's not smart enough to come in out of the rain. He's molting so bad right now. I've been trying to give him extra protein. And uh, he's lost almost all of his tail feathers. But, uh, yeah, so he's just out moseying around in the rain. And that worries me, too, because if they get super wet, which he is, they can get super cold. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overblowing everything and I just need to take a deep breath and relax. <sighs> Something's definitely going on back in there. Oh, please let it be an egg. Oh, Miss Coco's upset because she wants to go lay an egg, but she can't. Because this one's still in there. Hey, <sighs> yep, yeah, she's upset. I don't know what's going on with this one. Look at that black comb. Coco, you can go lay an egg somewhere else. Seriously. <laughs> Look at yep. Coco couldn't wait. Are you okay, Aww. chicken? Oh god. You guys, I'm so worried. <sighs> well, Miss Coco was attacking her in the file cabinet, so I've moved her to this nesting box. I hope she stays in here. Please just stay in here. Oh my gosh. Another baby chicken is not moving. Oh, you guys. And another one there. I need to find a way to gather these chicks up and put them in the van. It's too damp. It's too cold out here. I managed to brush my hair and pull it back in a ponytail. Not much has changed. Um, the baby chick in the brooder box. Um... Not good. There's two more that look like they are not stable at all. The weird black chicken with the black comb is still sitting in the nesting box. It's almost like she's gone broody, but maybe she's traumatized and is just chilling out. Maybe she's sick. I don't know. Um, all at once. <laughs> so, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to say a prayer. And I'm going to turn this over to God, the Heavenly Father, because I've done everything I can do. I don't know what else I can do. Um, maybe they're fine, maybe they're not. All I know is uh, if it's God's will that they make it, they'll make it. If it's God, God's will that they don't, then they don't. And I'm just not going to beat myself up about it. And uh, I'm going to be thankful for all the chickens that I do still have. And I've got many that are very healthy and um, so we're just going to go with that. Give it to God. Anyways, um, I think that's all I've got for you. I'm, I'm actually making a nice pot of stew right now, beef stew. Um, and I'll show you the stuff that I use to make it some other time. It's, uh, I've been meaning to feature these survival food things that I've got. So I just don't feel like it today. So... I'm going to make that nice pot of stew, and I'm going to eat it, share a little bit with Papa if he wants some, and um, just keep hoping and praying that things go okay with these chickens. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.